Before we jump into the video, I want to be very, very clear here. This is going to be a full-on rant in this video about Ezra Miller being the Flash and how they have still not been fired yet. My support for who should play the Flash is fully behind Grant Gustin. He is my Flash. He will always be my Flash. Maybe because I grew up with him. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of people who would think Ezra Miller is their Flash. And I, you know, respect your opinions. But at the same time, for those who've been watching the Flash for years or decades for some of you. Uh, the debate should not even be a debate. Uh, Grant and John easily top Ezra. And I wasn't even born when John was the Flash, and I know he's better than Ezra. I mean, it isn't that hard to look. The acting, the writing, the CGI even. But let alone the person, the people, are better than Ezra Miller. And it's, it, I'm going to be describing that in this video. My opinions about Ezra Miller are going to be shown in this video, but also Ezra as an actor and Ezra as playing the Flash before all the controversy. I'm gonna talk about all that in this video. So if you have a problem with that and you feel like you need to comment, just respect my opinions, I respect yours. If you don't feel like sticking around, then don't, <laughs> just leave. I don't wanna deal with it any more than you wanna deal with my opinions about hitting on Ezra. It, just, just go, if you're gonna be like that, there's no point. If you're here to support me and you wanna keep watching no matter what, I appreciate you, thanks for watching and enjoy this video. Grant Gustin has been associated with The Flash for over a decade. He played Barry Allen in Arrow for two episodes in 2013. And then 2014, The Flash show started. And he was obviously on it for nine years and wrapped in 2023. So ten whole years. Not even, like, I, I think it was the second episode of the W show. Of The Flash SW show, I mean. They casted Ezra as a DCU Flash. And then not even, like, three weeks as the series, the W series ended, the movie came out and flopped in the box office, and I think we all know why. Because it was a certain actor that has too much controversy, but no one wants to admit it, so they kept them in there, and it flopped harder than uh, any DCU movie in the history of DCU movies, which is really depressing. And Blue Beetle does not look to be doing any better, but we're not, we're not here to talk about Blue Beetle, I've already talked about that. In the whole video, which did not do well, but I, you know, pretty sure those who did watch it. But the point I'm trying to make is that Ezra Miller is still playing the Flash. They shouldn't be. They should have been fired like that. The guy who plays, uh, what's his face in Marvel now, the new big bad of Marvel, uh, 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 Kang, Kang the Conqueror, didn't he get fired for like something that? Uh, as far as I'm aware, has not been convinced to be true. Now, I'm not entirely up to date with that. I think it was Majors, whatever the hell his name is. Didn't he get fired for that? But Ezra Miller assaults people, jokes about murdering, like, a crime of people or whatever, and they get to walk free? I'm sorry, but no, that is ridiculous. Like, yes, what the... Assuming the guy who plays Kane in MCU did, and he actually did do it, yes, it's wrong. He deserves to be fired but to sit here and say that he gets fired and Ezra of all people don't, that's not right. I don't care. We've gotten people fired, like Harley Story got fired people for stuff he said years ago. But we don't, we fired him. Which, I mean, maybe he deserved to be fired, I don't know. But when you look at the whole scope, it's down to who you know in Hollywood. And Ezra knows a lot of people in Hollywood. I, I you know. But there's too much controversy around Ezra Miller. Look how many people will watch that movie on, you know, by pirating it. Meaning going online and watching people film it from a theater on, like, your laptop or phone or tablet, whatever. A majority of the people watch that movie through a free way. Not through a movie theater, which is why the box office flopped. People start watching on digital because it's not a good movie. And when you can watch it for free without having to pay, like, $70 or whatever the hell it is. It saves money. It saves time, quite frankly, because you can skip around. It really helps. But the movie was not great. It was because of Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller's acting is not good. Compared to Grant's, nowhere near even the same level as Grant. And maybe it's because they botched the whole storyline of Barry's mother dying. Didn't make it about Thawn. Made it some random person. And, and about tomato sauce. Like, I, it's ridiculous. And the music was not a good choice. The acting was not good. The suit was not good. 
The only thing that really Ezra's Flash did good is that the entire one of Ezra's Flash, so far at least, which is even depressing I'm even having to say so far, because I should be able to say just his run in general, but I know how to say so far because he's not, they have not been fired yet, uh, was probably when Ezra and Grant's Flashes met each other. That's probably the only time I actually cared for Ezra as a Flash, but even then, it was very little. And that was before Ezra did what they had done. And the whole controversy that we have now regarding Ezra hadn't even happened at that point. I have not cared for as much as a Flash at all. Long before all this. Because I genuinely believe not only their running style is ridiculous because look, they're ice skating, which I don't care who you are. If you legitimately defend Ezra Miller's running style for the Flash, I... <laughs> Kudos to you, but I, this is not something to be fending for. I mean, this is so stupid. Like, you can't tell me when you're running the speed of sound, you're going to be doing like an ice skating pose or running the speed of light. That's not how it works. I don't care what scientists you talk to. That is not a thing at all. That's not how it works. And it really just... It's weird. And it doesn't help with the acting either, because the acting again isn't great. And I know I said that about five times, but it is legitimately true that the acting sucks. The running sucks. The writing sucks. Yes, Grant's Flash did get screwed over in the like from season four onward with the writing. Besides season eight, which is the only good thing for Grant, because I mean Barry was actually powerful, confident, independent. The DCU Flash. Yes, he does stuff on his own, but at the end of the day, he still doesn't know how to use his powers correctly. I mean, he changed the entire time like 20 times in the movie. I, you do it once, that should be it, not four or five times. I, I'm sorry, but that's not the Flash. That is someone being ignorant with super speed. Yes, Grant's Flash changed the timeline, but he created a Flashpoint and then reset it and learned from his mistake. Ezra, uh, as far as we're aware, hasn't done that yet. Maybe it wasn't shown on screen. That could be the case. Who knows? But at the end of the day, the, the, there's, there's, there's a debate going on that Ezra's better than Grant. They aren't. The writing, the running, <laughs> which, yes, is a category. The Again, the acting... Grant triumphs Ezra in all those categories, and then some. I mean, it, Grant embodies Barry Allen. I mean, he talked about it at a panel for season six of The Flash during a CD, a San Diego Comic Con, where he straight up said that Barry's optimism he in channels in his life every single day. You see that on screen. You see Grant encompassing the character of Barry Allen. Throughout the course of nine years, maybe not season one as well as like season eight or nine, but he really does know Barry Allen. Of course, you know, later on in the show, he does know his character very, 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 very well. And he played him very, very well. What the DCU and DCEU have done for The Flash is like nothing related to Barry Allen besides the name being Barry Allen. Like, that's it. I can't see anything from the comics relating to what they did for Barry Allen in the movie. Even the Justice League movie, besides Barry making his own suit, and uh, that's, that's literally it. Because he didn't have orange lightning, he had blue, which was stupid. His running style was stupid, his suit was stupid. Nothing was related to Flash. To the Flash movie, and even then the suit looked ridiculous, it was still Flash-oriented. The lightning made zero sense why he, when he was out it had blue, but oh, when he's in it, he has blue. Or, or orange, I mean, or ye orange, yellow, whatever. Like, that was the only thing Flash related was the suit and the orange lightning for Ezra. That's it. Barry go in time to save his mom? Great, do it. That's Flash oriented. But then make it about tomato juice? <laughs> like, or tomato sauce, whatever the hell it was? Like, that's so stupid. Actually make it, like, emotional and work. Not say, oh, because Barry's mother didn't pick up tomato sauce, now she's gonna die, like, you know, an hour later. Like, no. 
Bring in Thawne! Do something! <laughs> Just don't! God! <laughs> You're so stupid! And I don't legitimately understand how people can defend Ezra Miller. I respect you, but I don't get how. If anyone can explain to me how that works, I would gladly love to hear it because I legitimately do not know how the hell that works. How anyone can defend Ezra Miller at all is beyond me. Because it makes zero, 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 zero sense. I, I'm sorry, but it doesn't. I don't care if you've been a fan of Ezra's for years. You can't sit there and say that the controversy around Ezra Miller is not at the forefront here, because it is. You can't say that Ezra acted his blank off in the movie because they didn't. During an emotional scene, Ezra didn't do a great job at all. And I'm talking about the scene when Keen's Batman died. That emotion there was pathetic. Grant could have done so much better. And yes, Grant has had his moments of, you know, not acting the best. But he's been doing it for like eight years at that point in time. I think it was the nearest one I can think of. Other than that, Grant acted his ass off all the time. Ezra did not even come close to that in my book. So the fact that there is a debate going on, and it has been going on for a while now, about who's a better Flash, Grant or Ezra... To me, it's Grant. It shouldn't even be a question. And I, it's so irritating to me that it even is a question. It, it, it is even a debate right now that Grant and Ezra are being compared against each other because they shouldn't even be compared to. Grant is better than Ezra, period. Yes, that's my opinion, but I guarantee you... Uh, <laughs> There are a lot of people that will agree with me. Whether you watch the movie show or not, Ezra did not do and did not perform well in the movie. They didn't. They sucked in that movie. That's not because my opinions of Ezra. That's because I can tell about acting when I see it. And the majority of Ezra scenes in that film weren't acted great. I'm sorry, but they weren't. Maybe it's just my preference for Grant and his acting. And it's different from Ezra's. But John had his own acting style for The Flash. And he did great. Wasn't as good as Grant, but still did great. And that was in the 90s. And Christ of the Nurse. In 2019, right? Or 2020, whatever it was. It's been a while. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is that it could be preference, it could be bias towards me favoring Grant or over Ezra. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, Ezra did not do great. And I guarantee there's a lot of people that agree with me on that. <laughs> because we've been so used to Grant. You, if they put Grant in that movie, I would have gone to the theaters to watch it. I haven't been to a theater in years. If Grant was in the Flash movie... I would have went to a theater to watch that movie because Grant is my Flash and I believe he deserves a chance on the big screen as the Flash. With a higher budget, perfect writing, maybe not perfect writing because who knows anymore, but with at least good level writing and with Grant's top tier acting, it would be genuinely amazing. And it would be so, so, so cool to watch it all play out. Grant can handle it. I don't think Ezra can handle it. Maybe it's because they were playing three different characters. But Barry Allen is still Barry Allen. But in DCU, we're not getting that. We didn't get that in the movie. All I hope is that Ezra gets recast. Whether it's with Grant or not, we need someone new. Or Grant. <laughs> I mean, it, I'm still sick of Ezra at this point. I think we all are. Or a lot of us are, at least. Not all of us, but a lot of us. Arsica Grant, we want to move on. James Gunn doesn't really want to and doesn't care what the fans want. We need to speak up. Simple as that. Speak up. It, you know, James Gunn will tend to answer questions and 
if people like ask questions like saying, hey, Ezra was not, we you know people don't want Ezra anymore, we consider recasting, James Gunn might see that and say, hey, maybe we should recast here before they do another Flash film or the Just League film or whatever, where the Flash will be in it. We need someone either A, new, or B, Grant. And my money is on Grant because I think Grant deserves that and he loves his character. He said that several times over. He's going to be associated with the Flash for the rest of his life. He said that himself. He will be associated with the Flash for the rest of his life. And that is true. He will be. But now, he can associate with more than the movie. I want to replace Ezra. It should happen. And it shouldn't even be a debate at all. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And this is my video. Bye, guys.